Hi. So now we're moving into the leg area. We're going to do the backs of the legs. So we're going to do the, uh, the calves, which will be pretty straightforward. And I'm going to give you different versions of this, and you just do the version that works for you. I'm just going to show you John's way of doing this. And the main thing is I want you to get a sense of the possibilities. We're going to do the calf. Then we're going to move up into the upper leg, which is the hamstring area. And then we're going to move over to the side of the legs. And uh, we'll we'll, that's what this section will be. Uh, so, got to get the units started at the speed that feels comfortable for you. Once again, I'm going to use two units. If you've got one, you would just use one. So, on this part, I'm not using the node at all. I'm just using the, the actual unit. So, I'm not using that special piece. I'm just laying my calves on. You want to come closer so you can see. Uh, a little bit, you want to shoot all the way up and down the sides here so you can see how my leg is. No effort on my part, I'm just getting a massage on the calf area. This is pretty straightforward. Now a little bit more advanced would be that I would start to spread the units out a little bit and actually start to do some stretches while I'm in here so I can actually engage the muscles while I'm working on the circulation. So now we're working a little bit more with flexibility so I can start to you know, work the bottoms of my feet, uh, start to play with space in between the toes, uh, pushing through my heels. Uh, now, I don't want to screw up my lower back while in, in this, so it's really important for me to keep the arch in my lower back. But I'm just doing a simple stretch here. I'm, what I'm stretching right now is the bottoms of my feet and my lower back. I'm pushing my chest forward, arching my back, getting a stretch. This feels good. The reason I do this is because it feels good and it, uh, and it gets me some good stretches. It's much more comfortable and fun than yoga is because I'm actually getting a massage at the same time. So that's the lower leg. Now we're going to go up into the, uh, the hamstring area. So once again, I have to adjust these a little bit. Now the way I'm going to start with the hamstring is I'm actually going to start at the, uh, when you sit down, you've got sits bones, and you can feel those. Um, so this is called the origin of the hamstring. It's where the muscle begins, and it attaches from the sits bone all the way down into the knee area. So I'm going to start at the top and go down. So I've got to adjust myself so that I can get started right on that area that's the sits bone area. And once again, you just want to find a comfortable way to do this. So. Right now, I'm not using any effort, but you can tell one of these stopped because there's so much more weight on it that I have to put it up a lot faster. Uh, so the bigger you are, I'm about 170 pounds, and I can stop the unit with a little bit of pressure. So if you're really big, you need to, to modify your positioning on this. But I can have my butt down on the ground and still pretty much get into that area. And then I slowly move back so that I'm getting the whole uh, hamstring area. Now at the same time, I'm also getting my calf area too. So that's the back of the leg. Now the side of the leg is a little more complicated in terms of uh, positioning. I do the outside of this leg and the inside of this leg. Once again, if you have one unit, you don't have to worry about this. Because you only so if I just had one unit, I turn to the side and I'd be getting the whole inside of this leg. I could even lay down. Okay, that's, yeah, I can take some pillows and pretty much stay here for, I'd say five minutes would be plenty, three to five minutes. If I want to do two, I take the other leg and I put the outside of that leg up on this unit here. And now I'm getting both. Not as comfortable, but I'm getting a workout at the same time as I'm getting a massage. And then I switch to the other side, so pardon me, but I'm going to turn away for a second. So it's kind of like a dance, you know? I mean, I can get all sorts of stretches when I'm in these different positions. But that's the back of the legs, pretty much the back of the legs and the sides of the legs. 